Before beginning to assemble your stand, please make sure you've received all of the parts listed on the parts list. You can follow along with the instructions provided in the box. Start by placing the center rod through the hole in the base of the stand. Tip the stand on its side and place the star washer over the bottom of the rod, then secure using the nut provided. Using your vice grips, clamp them on the center rod and then tighten the nut on the bottom using your wrench. Stand the stand back up and place the cushion washer over the center rod into the base. Place the tulip over the center rod onto the cushion washer and then put the tube over the center rod making sure to line up the notches in the tulip. Make sure that the loop on the flange is at the back of the stand. Place the star washer and then the nut inside. and then tighten using your wrench. Once the stand is assembled, place it on the ground and shake to make sure that it's secure. Then tighten again with a wrench at either end. For this demonstration, we're using a specially prepared machine missing a side panel so that you can see what's happening inside. Use your key to unlock the machine and then remove the chute. Take the wrench provided with the machine and place it in the bolt in the bottom. Unscrew counterclockwise and then remove the bolt. You can then lift the machine off and you'll see the mounting plate underneath. Making sure to place the hole for the tether strap at the back, Place the double bar on top of the S bracket. Line up the holes and secure using the nuts and bolts provided. Place the mounting bracket on top of the bolt and use the nut to hold it in place. Do this with all four holes. Place the other S bracket and secure in the same way. Flip the assembly over and put the support brace over the holes. Use the remaining nuts and bolts to put it in place. Once all of the parts have been tightened by hand, you can flip it back over and tighten using the ratchet.
Place the key in the lock and turn counterclockwise to remove the lock. Take the lid off and then remove the service hat. Take the body out of the base and your machine is ready to mount on your stand. Take the whole assembly and place it on the flange. Make sure to line up the holes. Use the screws provided to secure the stand. You'll need to use a number two Red Robertson screwdriver to tighten the screws. This can be purchased from Beaver Machine Corporation or your local hardware store. Place the triple bar on the bottom of the S bracket, making sure that it's centered. Place an RV base on the edge of the triple bar, lining up the holes. You'll need to use one of the longer bolts provided to go through all three layers and secure with a nut. You can use the shorter bolts provided for the remaining holes. Repeat this on the other side of the S bracket. You may need to wiggle the base a little bit to line it up properly. Once all of the nuts and bolts are in place, you can tighten them using your wrench. Then attach the third round beaver base to the center of the bracket. Place the northern beaver on top of the northern beaver bracket on the double bar. Use the one inch bolt provided to secure the northern beaver to the stand. You can use the wrench provided to tighten the bolt. Repeat this with the other northern beaver. Please make sure to tether your stand to the wall. This will prevent it from falling over. You can follow along with the instructions provided. Attach a quick link to either end of the tether strap. One of these links will attach to the stand and the other will attach to the anchor that you'll screw into the wall using the anchor plug. 